Hi everyone! Today I wanted to talk about um, something that I really think is important and um, that is locks of love and um, if you've watched my previous videos you've uh, and now watching this one you notice that my hair is a lot shorter and that is because a few weeks ago I had my friend cut my hair off and um, this is it right here um, cut it off so that I can donate it to Locks of Love and what Locks of Love is is and I will put a link in the sidebar um, so that you guys can go visit it um, it's a very popular um, organization a lot of people do know about it but um, if you had any questions this video may help or you know you can go to the link in the sidebar and it's a nonprofit public organization that um, accepts donations of hair and money I'm sure um, to make hair pieces wigs and stuff for um, children 18 and under who have lost their hair to pretty much any kind of condition whether it be uh, the types of cancer that are out there or um, alopecia is a a big um, condition that they have no cure and you know they don't know what causes it but um, a lot of people a lot of children who receive hair pieces um, suffer from these conditions and um, it's really it's a great organization I mean again they are non-profit so they're just trying to help these children to kind of you know make them feel better because everybody who's watching this probably has likes you know beauty products and stuff like that and imagine if you didn't have any hair you know and especially being a child that could be hard um but anyways and i'm going to briefly talk to you about the guidelines for donating if you are interested um, the hair has to be at least 10 inches long. I think my ponytail is almost at 12. And um, it can be lightly colored. Your hair can be lightly colored. Um, it can be permed, straight or curly. Um, just make sure, and it doesn't even, to be usable in the hair pieces, it has to be 10 inches long or longer. If it's not 10 inches long, they sell those pieces of hair to kind of help balance with the manufacturing costs. So if, say, you have layered hair, um, you know, they'll take, they'll separate the long pieces out and use those in the hair pieces, but then they will, um, they will sell the, um, shorter layers. Um, some things that it, your hair cannot be, um, it cannot be like cut, dropped on the floor and then gathered in like a bag. Um, it needs to be, whenever you cut it off, it needs, your stylist or whoever needs to put it in a ponytail and then cut a good bit away from it. I think they prefer it to be about a half an inch away from your ponytail holder just to make sure that it's secured but mine's really tight and it's not going anywhere. But um, so yeah you can't sweep it off the floor. One that's unsanitary. I mean what you wouldn't want to give a child you know that hair for a hair piece. Um, and also you can't do um, like um, extensions or anything like that. It has to be your natural hair, um, not necessarily color, but your natural hair. Um, and curly hair, I did mention um, you can donate curly hair. Um, when I cut this, it was straight, but um, you can stretch out your curly hair, especially if you have really coiled hair. You can stretch it out, and if it makes 10 inches, then it will be usable. Um, and let's see. And um, talk about donating it. Um, again, you know, put it in a ponytail, have your stylist cut it off, or you cut it off, however. Um, it's easier to braid it when it's in the ponytail still attached to your head. Just braid it. Uh, secure the other end and then you will want to um, after that you will want it you'll want your hair to be clean when you do this too um, but put it in a plastic bag and let's see put it in a plastic bag and then put it inside of a padded envelope and um, the um, address 
fill out the hair donation form or write your name and address on a separate sheet of paper and include inside the envelope. All hair donations must be mailed to Locks of Love at 234 Southern Boulevard, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33405. So, um, yeah, it's really simple. It won't cost that much. Um, and it's really, really for a good cause. And, you know, if, if that sounds like something that, you know, you could part with your hair, especially if you have extremely long hair, then, you know, 10 inches isn't that it, it is a big deal, but it's not. I mean, I was very attached to my hair, and I did this, and I can't wait for it to grow back out, but I did it, and I'm really happy I did, and I hope you guys will consider it. Um, the link to the website is in the sidebar. Thank you so much for watching, guys, um, and I hope you will consider it. Bye.